Hello, I'm Victor Torres, VP Marketing of Arcana Technologies. Together with the companies Picocom, Analog Devices, and Senco, we are leading the work item 5G New Radio FR1 reference design from the Small Cell Forum. As we enter the 5G era, many processes and approaches used for 3G and 4G LTE are changing to meet a new and more demanding mobile market in which small cells will play a major part as networks densify. But how do we keep small cell prices down? There is currently a growing volume of components and interfaces available and used in the construction of 5G new radio for one small cells. Cheap and quick deployment implies an agile infrastructure based on common platform components that can adapt to evolving businesses models and usage patterns. However, the problem is that deployment scenarios may, at least for now, be too diverse and components too specialized or even proprietary to permit a single small cell harmonized reference design that can cut both development and rollout costs. What you should expect to find by reading this white paper is a comprehensive overview of the components and interfaces that are part of the 5G new radio FR1 small cells distributed radio units within the context of a reference design. Hello, I'm Martin Laseko, Director of System Design at PicoCom. The baseband part of a small cell radio unit contains the digital electronics needed to run 3GPP protocol and physical layer stacks. This processing can be universal across different types of small cell and use standard open RAN interfaces. Enterprise and neutral host deployments in particular will need to support as many radio frequencies as possible which increases the bandwidth required of small cells. The RF front end, one of the main building blocks of the small cell radio unit, may be different depending on frequency of operation, output power, and other factors. And some deployment scenarios outlined in this paper would benefit from multiband small cells with different RF front ends. The solution proposed is a modular approach to small cell reference design in which a variety of RF front end designs can be interfaced in a standardized way to the same common baseband and RF transceivers. Hello, my name is Ahmed Abdurrahman, a systems design architecture engineer at Analog Devices. This approach provides a flexibility without fragmentation. The RF front end can be swapped in and out to support different markets without changing the rest of the platform. The baseband to transceiver is commonly interfaced via GSD 204, enabling different vendors' components to be used. For example, a vendor or deployer is not forced to adapt a rigidly uniform solution that may not be optimal, but can still maintain common foundations that reduce complexity and boost scale. We strongly believe that our work in the small cell forum makes a strong case for a modular approach to reduce costs and complexity of those small cells. This, combined with the common efforts to narrow the number of use cases, could be a way forward that changes the economics of 5G small cell rollout for the better. Hi there. My name is Mike Milnes, FTTX Product Specialist at Senko Advanced Components. During our work, we also realized that the interface connections are an area that we feel could be streamlined. We found that connectors on the small cells are not unified across the different interfaces, and therefore there is limited availability, long lead times, and an important lack of economies of scale in this area, bringing a lot of frustration to installers. Because of this, Having laid the foundations for a common modular architecture for 5G FR1 small cells at components and reference design levels, it can only help to accelerate and achieve true scale and market adoption of small cells. This paper is a useful reference, not only for the entire wireless infrastructure ecosystem, but is especially targeted for component makers looking to prioritize their development efforts on the areas of highest demand, private network providers, neutral hosts and mobile network operators to inform their configuration and architecture choices, system integrators and ODMs to minimize development efforts and maximize product performance. Thanks for watching, and we hope you'll enjoy reading the paper as much as we did writing it. <laughs>